Hey guys, Will Hornup here from Training Guard Jiu Jitsu and MMA with my student Andy. And we're going to go over some options from a kind of reverse de la Hiva when we're trying to prevent the knee through the middle pass. So, you have your opponent, he's trying to go knee through the middle. I'm going to get my hips the opposite way. So I have my right foot hooking behind his thigh, my right knee on his knee, turning him to the left. But as he starts coming in, I'm going to go for the sweep we previously did on one of the other videos where I'm punching and scissoring and bringing him to the left. But however, sometimes, sometimes they'll just kind of hang back, you know, and they're just kind of threatening the pass, but they're not doing enough to pass you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his hand, or right, I'm going to grab right at the wrist, and I'm going to pull it to me and bring my knees in as well. It's going to cause him to step. As soon as he steps, I'm going to go under his leg and make sure that I circle underneath, making sure that his knee is tight to my shoulder. Now, this is not like, for instance, when I'm doing a, like an X guard where it's all the way up here. With this one, I want to make sure that his knee is plastered to my shoulder really tight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock my legs, making sure that my top leg locks over my bottom leg. And you can see that my knee is right in, my shin's right in his knee joint. I'm going to keep holding his left, his right ankle, and I'm going to drive my legs forward. Now, if he posts, with his hand, I can, just, I can get up pretty much not worrying about the triangle because his leg is between my legs. So I'm going to get up on my elbow, make sure I have a high grip right here on his hip, and then I can just sit out and base. Turn this way. Now, once I get up, I want to focus on taking my keeper right here. I take my right hand on his stomach right here. All right, I don't want to hold like this because it's not as powerful, so I'm going to take my right hand right here to his stomach. I'm gonna drive my weight forward, trying to put his knee to his face. And I'm gonna C-cup behind his knee here. Because if I put it over his knee, they can always pull my arm off and then I go in a triangle as I try to pass. So I'm gonna C-cup behind the knee, just like this. Drive my weight forward, right hip heavy, trying to drive his knee into his head. All right, now, sometimes I even take my left hand and put it behind my back. I just use it to check this leg if he hooks my leg. I use it to C-cup do leg work, step out, and then continue the pass. So I'm gonna drive, drive, drive. Now, I'm gonna go head up, chest forward. Head up, chest forward. And when I do that, I'm gonna catch this leg. My elbow's gonna drop, and then I'm gonna walk to the north-south position. Let's do another angle here. Right here, all right? So, he comes in, trying to do knee through the middle. I get my knees into the opposite way that he wants to go, I'm going to lock my legs. I'm going to grab his hand, and I'm going to bring my knees to my head. It causes him to step. I'm going to grab his leg. I like to grab right by the knee right here, right above it, and I make sure it's plastered to my shoulder. Now, I'm going to make sure that my shin is in his knee joint right here. I'm going to lock my legs, and I'm going to bring it forward. One of the most common mistakes people make here is that their knee will be like this, underneath the guy's knee or just a little bit out. I want to make sure that it's really prominent here, that I can really buckle his knee with my knee. So now I'm going to drive my legs forward. And now I'm going to get underneath his knee joint with my shoulder here. Now I have to make sure that I'm monitoring this so he doesn't pop out and get me in the triangle. I'm going to step on base. I'm going to hook right on his stomach here. I'm going to C cup right behind his knee. And I'm going to drive my weight into him. Now, as I come around, I'm gonna bring my head up, chest forward. Head up, chest forward. And catch his leg, right elbow down, get low, and north-south position. All right guys, hope you like the technique. And if you like it, visit facebook.com forward slash BJJ and NJ and let us know what you think.